So today we're taking a unique look at probably the most popular uh, restaurant franchise in Maritime's history. Uh, we call it Dixie Lee, or is it the uh, company logo goes, the best chicken in Atlantic Canada. Now, Dixie Lee didn't start, or the Canadian branch didn't start uh, in the Maritimes. Actually, it started as a regional franchise in Belleville, Ontario in 1964. Now, uh, its largest group of operators is something called Dixie Lee Maritimes. Uh, that company is based in New Brunswick with 38 locations in two provinces. Now, what <laughs> what's so great about Dixie Lee, it's fried chicken that's literally fried chicken. Some of the greasiest fried chicken in your mind that you've never had, you go to Dixie Lee, you find it there. Now, Dixie Lee is known for its decor, it's known for its uh, curly cut fries, known for its great uh, potato salad and, and uh, coleslaw. It was one of the first uh, franchises to give a fish dinner and to serve shrimp. From the uh, mid-1960s on, uh, they were sort of like uh, the place for uh, Acadie and New Brunswick to get together, uh, let's say after a movie, before or after a hockey game, a social gathering. It was a gathering place for all ages. Kids from 2 to 102 would go there and really enjoy it. But for me, the best location, obviously, because I come from the North Shore, uh, is uh, the one the Oaks family ran in Dalhousie near the old uh, Dalhousie Pulp Dome. Now that location is legendary because I think every person in Dalhousie either ate there or uh, sent out for a takeout order. Uh, all the Dixie Lee staffs in the, in the Maritimes are very personable. Uh, they're a tremendous, uh, uh, tremendous community uh, based. But just a little bit of background on the restaurant. The first one and the marquee one is the one in the uh, Karakit. Now, most Dixie Lee franchises were independent restaurants before they took on the Dixie Lee name. Now, the one in Karakit uh, eventually had to move to uh, a new location uh, following a, a fire during a winter storm, of all things. And uh, it had moved to a bigger location in the 1990s. Uh, where it basically uh, expanded uh, sales. Now in that region of uh, the peninsula, uh, one in Grand Anne, shipping in track in Lebec. And uh, the track in the location actually is quite amazing because it's one of the biggest Dixie restaurants in New Brunswick, but it's also the, one of the first to include a drive through of all things. Now uh, in 1974, there was one in Holton for a while, but it went to bankrupt in uh, 1991. And eventually the Dixie Lee name uh, moved to, uh, of all places, uh, New York State. Uh, but uh, by 1975, the chain claimed over 101 fried chicken and seafood takeout stores in the U.S. and Canada. And the new uh, franchises were uh, licensed through uh, Masson in New York and uh, the uh, sometimes sold Dixie Lee as a sideline. Now, in 2006, uh, there was a big claim. It claimed to be the fourth largest chicken franchise in Canada with sales of excess of $55 million per year at its 77 restaurants. Uh, 25 in Ontario uh, with uh, dozens more in New Brunswick, BC, Alberta and Quebec. Now, um, as it continued, uh, Dixie Lee International took over and uh, of all places, <laughs> one showed up in Dubai in 2008, but unfortunately now closed. And the Ukrainian uh, location opened uh, briefly in 2008 and uh, never really panned out. Um, so Dixie Lee is sort of like an international thing with a Canadian feel. Eh? Uh, but the menu, again, uh, <laughs> not good for your health. Uh, like I said, fish and chips, fried chicken, nuggets and other side items, uh, including some great uh, you know, uh, onion rings. And uh, most of the products now come with trans uh, fatty uh, free oils, but back in the day uh, it was your typical Crisco cooking. But the big thing about Dixie Lee, it filled you very quickly. It was a very high protein in the meal. Uh, the food tasted great when it was cooked perfectly. Everybody would would go there at least once or twice a week in my family. And those predominant Dixie Lee boxes, sometimes there were uh, foil on the interior to keep it warm or uh, you know, wax paper, they really stood out. But of course, the only negative thing about Dixie Lee, when people were done with the garbage 
from the meal, they would throw them out on the side of rural highways, in especially northern New Brunswick, which of course you shouldn't do that. But uh, for me, a typical Dixie Lee snack would be three pieces of chicken, some McCain fries, some coleslaw, a couple of onion rings, which of course I put them in Kraft tartar sauce. I don't recommend that because not everybody can handle that. But uh, you know, it's a it's a great hometown meal. So uh, if you have a chance, uh, there's Dixie Lee's again throughout the province, mostly predominantly French and Acadian communities. Um, 99.99% of the task staff I dealt with at Dixie Lee, some of the best workers uh, ever in the province at restaurants because, you know, it's a, it's great food to eat and to share. And, you know, uh, my new niece, Eleanor, and uh, my soon-to-be future niece down the road will obviously be enjoying Dixie Lee for years. And if I had the money, I'd buy a Dixie Lee franchise just to see the look on people's face. But a little trick, by the way, if you have Dixie Lee and you put it in a paper bag, if you shake it, when the grease comes out, you can use that to light your stoves in the morning if you have a Lakewood stove or something similar. So again, tonight, if you have the time, order yourself some Dixie Lee, bring it home, and uh, let me tell you, you won't regret it. If you've never had Dixie Lee before, buy it. If you don't like it, I will refund your money. I am that sure you love Dixie Lee. So have a good evening, and as we like to say in Dixie Lee, enjoy your meal. Have a good evening. Bye.